what is up guys welcome back to the channel again welcome back to the vlog today it is wednesday as you see i am back at the yard again i hope you guys are doing good i have several things to do in the truck small simple things but i have to get them done you know because that can create other issues in the future with all that being said i hope you guys are doing good once again and let's start this vlog So the first thing I'm going to be doing is putting that spare tire in the trailer. If you guys follow my um, YouTube channel, you guys know that I was robbed. <laughs> um, all there in Baytown, Texas, somebody decided to take one of my tires. So now um, I have a spare tire, it's a used tire, it's not a brand new tire. But it's going to get me, it's going to get the job done if it needs to. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have a problem because like I said before, if you guys follow my YouTube channel, you guys know that I, I, I just recently put new tires on the truck. So, um, well, let me get this tire set up so I can hook it up to the trailer, put a chain on it, and fix a light as well that I have to fix on the trailer. So let's get to it. Let me show you guys the tire marks on this. Well, I don't know if that's what you call it, but you see that little arrow there that means that once it gets there your tire is no good right i still have i still have plenty of of meat there look at the other one here i still have plenty of meat there the tire's not that bad to be honest it has a little beating on it but other than that you can you can tell there's there's still a lot of thread there like i said this is a used tire but hey you know what if by any chance one of my brand new tires blow up because you guys know the luck that i have with with tires um this can get the job done for a couple of months you know there you go double tire with a chain on it for all the the tire boys out there <laughs> ridiculous you guys out here stealing tires so the next thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be changing out uh, the black vessels you see here to the chrome ones like this one I was able to find them yesterday I actually bought them at Miami Star um, and I also have some paint to throw on that it's not the same green as you see I have like a different tone of green there and I already had a different tone of green there as well but I'm gonna throw some paint on there because it's gonna look better than that um, that's just for now till I repair this whole bumper that's gonna be in another video i have to take this t bumper to get repaired and i have to repair the the m m fenders as well remember when the tire exploded it cracked that and i'm looking at this here now and it cracked this too right there so i gotta not this week but eventually i have to take these fenders off and this uh t bumper and repair the whole thing so let me start oh it's wet because I gave it a little wash so let me clean this up let me dry it up let me paint this and get the river gun out all right so let's take off our lights you see I already started start taking off our lights want to donate uh, old clothes let me know I will pick them up the guys are in the Miami area because I always use the old clothes for uh, to cleaning up the grease you know for anything that I can use it on I don't worry I just use it to clean up you know clean this 
this up a little bit. Put this here. I'll show you why in a second. be painting since I'm gonna be painting this I cover the back of that um, because I'm gonna I don't want it to you know spray paint I don't want to spray paint the whole thing so, yeah. I don't have the same green it's not the same green it's it looks alike and this is a green that was made you know it wasn't it's not something that you can find in a store or something like that so Let it dry for a bit so I can uh, put the chrome trimming around the light and rivet it together. So now it's just a waiting game. Okay, so after several cuts and several bruises um, I don't know why they make this so complicated but it is it's hard it's not complicated it's just hard because the light goes inside the chrome piece very 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 tight so after you do this obviously easy hook up your power source which is right in here for me it's right in here have my uh, my rivet gun and I have my rivets right here these are 316s rivet Sixteens rivet. These are small. These are not big. This is what I like to use because that way 
Um, if you have to take them off in the future, they're not super hard to take off. Let me go turn on the lights. Make sure you turn them on. Hook them up before you turn them on. That was my bad. Because if you're messing around with them in there, you might uh, ground it out, and then you might cause a, you know, you, you might blow your fuse or something. Once you got them, you're on, you're hooked up. Not breaking. There you go. Let me do this one. I have to drill something, there's something in there. I have to drill it out. I got my drill. Let's see. going on why it didn't go in I think there's a piece of uh, there, you go. Yep. there was a piece of uh, of the rivet of the old rivet
when the tire explosion happened, there was a piece of the old rivet on there. That's why it didn't work. See? I went in there like nothing. There you go. There you got it, girls and boys. One less thing to worry about. Make sure you toss these out somewhere else because the last thing you want to do is uh, catch a flat from your own mess. There you go. I actually like that that uh, that that tone of green. I I actually like it. It is not the same as the one I had, but I like it. Next thing I have to replace are these little things here. I already loosened this up. Um, this goes up here, and then there's one up here as well. They're supposed to be in between. Let me start taking this thing apart. Let me get the jack out so I can lift up the the stack in order to fit these things in there so we have everything disconnected well all the nuts and bolts are out now i'm gonna put the rubber little things that go here but i'm gonna change that bolt around because that bolt is supposed to be facing the other way around so before i forget this is how they come all right you got, obviously you gotta separate them have I'm doing the, the other side already so when it's time to put them on you put them on this way this has to face the bottom if you put them on like that you're gonna have a hard time to put them you know when it's time to tighten up the bolt you're gonna have a hard time so you gotta put them on like this remember with this thing facing down All you have to do is put your bolt in there. In one second, I'll show you. Put your bolt in there. Obviously, I have it jacked up. Once I start to lower the jack, I line up the stack. And make sure both bolts and the top bolts line up all at the same time before you tie it up. All right, there it is. On installed. I had to do both sides because they were both bad. But there you go. Good morning, y'all. It is the next day. I am back here at the yard again. <clears throat> Let me show you guys the way the hoses look. I don't know if I showed you guys in the previous video, but that's the way they're gonna look now. I did that black rubber thing you see on there so the holes when whenever i get a bump or something won't bounce a lot i did two of them because that's usually where they get messed up when they start bouncing a lot they sell a spring for that but i don't want to put a spring because if i put a spring <coughs> i might scratch up everything here and i don't want to do that that's the reason why i do not put a spring on it with all that um i'm gonna disengage now i have to take the truck to get the ac checked <clears throat> has a little leak in one of the valves and nothing ladies and gentlemen let's get the day started so here's where it's leaking there's a leak on there So 300 psi for a leak check and they did not leak so 
You're looking good. Back at the yard. Um, next step is I told you guys that I wanted to change the quick connects that I have here. This should be something simple, simple, simple. When I take them off, I'm gonna show you something that a subscriber told me and that they had told me before, but sometimes we don't think about it. So, something about the quick connect once when you start putting Teflon on it. And he is 100% correct. I've heard of that before, I've done it before. Um, but I, I always forget it. So, I'm gonna do it. Once I take these off, I'm gonna show you what he was exactly talking about. Okay. So, I was able to take out the quick disconnect. Um, it is, it's pretty rusted inside. I don't even know why, but, well, I mean, I know why it's rusted, because water's getting in it. I don't know why it looks like that. Like, there's welding in it for some reason, but I don't know. Anyhow, it's all rusted inside. Um, it's stuck. It's, you know, they, they, they're supposed to open. They're supposed to close and open. Let me see if I can open this one so I can show you. See, this, this is the way it's supposed to work. See? This one is stuck completely. So, what I wanted to show you that one of the subscribers had told me about he is 100% right I forgot to mention it in the other video that I did was so when it's time to put your Teflon tape okay you are supposed to put it with that means the same way you put it, the same way the quick connect rotates. So if it rotates to the right, when you hook it up, if it does it to the right, for example, this one, when you're going to hook it up to the other line, you're supposed to turn it to the right, clockwise, right? So your Teflon tape has to go in clockwise as well, because if you put your Teflon tape, counterclockwise when you start rotating it to the when you start rotating it to so you can connect your teflon tape instead of going and locking in between your threads it's gonna come off it's gonna rip off the the, the one of my subscribers he told me about it and it's true he's 100 right whoever you were i forgot your name comment down below let me know it was you so everybody else can see it was you um you are 100% right, that's the way you're supposed to do it because if not, you'll end up having a leak. So with all that said, let me put Teflon on this and hook this up so I can do the other one as well. Okay, so we finally exchanged both of them out. This one works, but looks like crap. And I'm looking at the inside now and the little balls that are in the inside are not moving around, so that means it can possibly have a leak. If it doesn't already, it can possibly get one pretty soon. Look how new ones came out. I have to see what I can figure out so I can find some type of cover, maybe one of those uh, nut covers that go on the wheels or something. So I can cover this up so no moisture or no water can get in here. Um, let me see what I can figure out because I don't have nothing yet. With all that said, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys learned something with this video. If you guys remember if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet it's only a second go subscribe hit that like button comment share it um hit that bell button you know so you guys will not miss out on anything that i do but all that i hope you guys are doing good thank you so much for watching peace and keep on trucking